Okay, so this is a crypt run guide. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually getting ready to go search for the crypt. So I want to choose a quest in Act 1, Monster Power 10. It can be anything. I've just got the last quest. Um, so from there, we're going to get in the game and search for the crypt. The crypt is in Fields of Misery. And when you click on... Um, when you click on the waypoint, you want to check out where the upper waypoint to the uh, Drowned Temple is. That'll give you kind of a sense of where things are. So there it is up there. So I'm down low. You want to check kind of in between these two places, starting with kind of the lower left um, area. And you'll run into a, a few different things. And here we go. Look, there's a crypt right away. Perfect. Um, so I'm using a prep monk build, which I'll talk about later. Once you find the crypt, um, you want to just run in and get the spewing horrors to puke out more zombies. And that's the whole point of doing a crypt run, is to pack it full of uh, creatures. As you work on getting them to spew uh, more creatures, more zombies. So if you spend a lot of time in here, you can really pack it densely. You just have to be careful not to lag out the game because you can have hundreds and hundreds of monsters in this crypt. Um, so this is kind of what, what you want to do. We're just running back and forth, um, getting the, the mommies to puke. So awesome. Um, as you go back and forth, you can actually run through and then pass a group, come back to it later, and they can re-spew. Um, and, you know, a, a good prep can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. You can get all the zombies to kind of move out of the, the side corridors and get them centralized. I'm not really doing that at this point, just for the sake of time. Um, but you spend a lot of good time doing that you can get a lot of zombies ready for you. And once you're in Decaying Crypt level 2 you just do the same. It's a lot of us it's a lot smaller of an area. Um, just the same kind of vibe though you're just getting as much of the zombies to spawn as you can. Now in Crypt level 2 there are two events there's this chest right here that gives you a Nephilim Valor stack. And then there is this, uh, the Wraith family event that you can use to get a uh, Nephilim Valor stacks. Before you actually clear the crypt, you have to have someone go to the Festering Woods and prepare a group of elites. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes. But as you can see now, um, this cr this crypt is pretty densely packed. It's actually uh, kind of a smaller crypt as far as its uh, geography is concerned. Um, but there are still quite a few monsters. And in this kind of a prep, you probably get maybe, you know... 40 to 60 million experience depending on your uh, level that you're dealing with maybe even more just depending on what gear you have uh, as far as XP gear Hellfire, Ruby but you can see that this uh, crypt isn't very big there are actually bigger layouts that you can spawn um, so like you just have to work through and get as much uh, of the zombies to spew out of this smaller area yeah, so pretty small. I've seen way bigger ones than this. And they're harder to prep. The bigger ones are, of course, because you have to pull the monsters into kind of a centralized area just so that it's faster. But once you do that, you know, it, it goes pretty quick.
Okay, so in this game, I'm going to show you how to prep the elite. So while someone is in the crypt, prepping the crypts like you just saw, um, someone needs to go out and prep three or four elite packs in uh, Festering Woods. I'm using a Demon Hunter right now, um, which, you know, you can do whatever you want as long as you have uh, the DPS to do so. Um, so I want to do the pack that's in each of the tombs, Warrior's Rest, and Crypt of the Ancients. And um, prepping the elites just means to uh, lower their health, lower the main creature's health down enough so that um, so that it's easy to kill Rouges in the game. I really hate these purple eyes. can't stand in poison for too long. Let's just get him moved. Get him moved over by the door here. So he's low enough that it's just a few hits and he's toast. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next tomb area. Um, in Festering Woods there's just kind of a big hole in the middle and everything else is just kind of set up around it so um, go up and down and look for the the other the other crypt and then often like we have just found there is a a few champion packs outside of the team so I'm gonna lower them and if I kill a couple that's fine shielding I have to be careful not to kill I hit these guys kind of hard. So I'm going to run into Warrior's Rest now and prep this group. That's good. Now that's that's three. Sometimes you can find a fourth pack. Let's see if we can find a fourth pack out here. Um, there's an event, so we can do the event. If you do this ev the event or have four uh, e packs in Festering Woods, then you don't have to do the Wraith Family event um, inside Crypt Level Two. So you have three or four in the woods, and then. The Wraith Family event plus the chest gets you to five or um, four out here and just the chest that's in um, Crypt Level 2 and that gets you to five stacks. And that's all there is to it to prepping these. So the next, uh, the next topic I'm going to show will be... Um, running the crypt. Basically you run the crypt and just kill everything. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to do it. Notice in the map here there's one uh, phantom guy left so I'm going to lead him so that when we kill him as a group um, we get the event 
credit, which gives us a Nephilim Valor stack. So there are four ready um, out in the woods. Now granted, you'll notice that I'm not doing this in a full game. Usually you do it with three other players. Two people can help you do this. Two people can prep the crypts. Um, so um, doing it in a full game makes it take a little longer because the enemy difficulty is up just a tad. But um, that's what you end up dealing with uh, when you're prepping elites. All right, next is killing the elites and running the crypt. In this game, all the elites are prepped. I'm in a game full of other players. And we're just going to go through and kill these e packs first. Obviously, I have sped up the video so you don't have to sit here for uh, 10, whatever, 10, 15 minutes. Um, so there's one stack. And uh, here in Warrior's Rest, number two. And then there's another group um, just outside here. All oh, my archons are a little crowded. Okay, get them out. There's the ping up north. Okay, that's three. And this would be four. So with four stacks, you don't have to do the family event. Um, the family event, some people say it just takes too long or you get frozen by the mom of the Wraith family, whatever. Now I have the portal to Crypt level two. So I'm actually going to go in and then everyone's going to pour it onto me. And as you see, we snag the chest that's there for our fifth stack. And now we just run through and destroy everything. Um, what's great is if it's prepped nicely, um, you know, you can get between 60 and 80 million experience or more, depending on your gear especially if there are some XP shrines I just leveled everybody levels in this game actually which is awesome um, all the groups are pulled in this map to kind of a, a straightaway location I'm using Exploding Palm with the Burning, which is awesome, and because I have a zero DPS build, um, this is Zuni's chest. Um, I'm using Stun, so as I as my Exploding Palm burns the other monsters, the Stun actually procs, which is awesome. So I can stun a whole huge group of creatures. Now in this crypt, um, the crypt preppers actually moved the checkered areas which I'll open my map up here in a second and show you um, into a straight line that just goes north to the exit of the crypt and that's a, you just keep prepping them pulling them and they'll all move into that zone so you notice in the mini map I'm not going down uh, everything's in a straight line here, and I died because of the map. That's awesome. So you want to pull everything into, you know, a, as much of an organized section as you can. Uh, in my crypt, crypt prep, in the first part of the video, I don't really do that um, because of time. Because it takes quite a bit of time. It can take up to, you know, 20, 30, even 40 minutes. But you want to get everything lined up so that you just go a straight shot out to the exit. Another option is to pull monsters from Fields of Misery into a group. Uh, some people do this, some people don't. Some people pull Weeping Hollow and that's fine too. 
Um, I pulled uh, Fields of Misery. Just, you know, a, a pretty decent pack. You can see my um, Exploding Palm stunning those larger groups, which is pretty cool. So once you get finished with um, the fields or Weeping Hollow or whatever else, then that's it. And you just search for another crypt and do it again. One thing you have to be careful of is um, as you're pulling monsters and stuff, organize with your teammates as to who pulls what when because you can really lag out the game. Um, we had some problems actually with this particular game with some serious lag issues. And uh, I'll show you that that result here in a second. But that's really all there is to it. Um, average crypt run takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, both from finding, prepping, and clearing. And that's it. That's all there is to a crypt run. Thanks for watching. I gotta film this. Oh, Just Jesus. trying not to be Boy. counterproductive, though. Basically. I'm trying. I'm trying not to be. Oh, okay. now, this is going into my glitches compilations. There we go. I'm dead. <laughs>